LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you do something. I'm going to tell you do something right now, okay? This is the LDBC challenge number two. All right, this is my second challenge to the LDBC. So, brothers, here's the thing. Okay, what I want to know is what, you know, what person, which one of these people will have the biggest impact? Okay, what fighter, what manager, what promoter, or what trainer do you think, you can pick one, do you think is going to have the biggest impact in the sport of boxing, okay? Where well, the coach is going to make his selection, okay? The coach selects Al Heyman. The reason why I chose Al Heyman is because Al Heyman pretty much has done a lot of monumental things in the sport of boxing. I mean, he bought boxing back to regular TV. You know, he bought boxing back to regular TV. That's a big feat in itself. Whereas, you know, you have a lot of these promoters and managers, they've tried to do things to stimulate the audience in boxing. You know, Al Heyman has managed to actually do that. You know, uh, a lot of the fights that, you know, are getting viewed on PBC, uh, they're definitely doing a lot of views, okay? The fights are doing a lot of views. And, you know, the casual fan is becoming a fan of boxing, you know, by watching PBC. And I think it's a great thing. I think it really is a great thing. Um, you know, Al Heyman has done a lot of monumental things, man. Like y'all remember, he actually got Floyd Mayweather, you know, a, a six-fight, $250 million deal from a Showtime CBS, you know. He helped him get that. I mean, he's given, you know, a lot of these fighters are able to get seven-figure paydays. And some fighters, even, you know, outside of Floyd Mayweather, can even make, you know, eight figures, you know, or close to. I mean, he's definitely causing a shift in boxing, okay? And he's not even been in boxing for a long, long time, but he's causing a shift. He's causing a, a direct shift. And, you know, shout out to uh, Coach Simpson, man. You know, when I talked to him, man, you know, him and Al Heyman are, are pretty good friends. And he told me, look, when Al Heyman say that something is going to happen, he said, you can take it to the bank it's going to happen. When Heyman says that anything is going to happen, you can take that to the bank. And, you know, from what I was learning and gathering from Coach, he was telling me that the plan, you know, part of the plan, of course, Al Heyman is a man that don't tell everything that he's going to do. But part of the plan is to make like a ranking system within PBC. And you guessed it, to actually have some PBC belts, okay, um, to come up with a ranking system. And I think, to me, that's good. Because what this does is it cuts down on a lot of the, the, the hoopla. It cuts down on that, and you can actually know who's the best. And the system is, is going to be very similar to UFC. See, I predicted this years ago. I predicted this years ago, but we'll wait till it happened. Wait till it happened. And I even think, by some standards, I think the PBC belts will probably have more weight than some of these governing bodies. Because, you know, you, you look at Al Heyman, he's got the majority of the fighters in his stable already. So him making matches, you know, it's going to be the thing. And, and some of the other promoters, you know, they've had to almost give in. Because these promoters, they're going to have to work with Al Heyman. If they're going to, if they're going to thrive, they're going to have to work with Al Heyman. See, Al Heyman has successfully managed to sign most of the top fighters. He's got them in his stable. And, you know, what are these other guys going to do? I mean, he's taking the networks. He's done, I mean, Al Heyman pretty much is, is a boss right now. He's a boss. And he's doing what he wants to do. And 2017, man, he gonna drop the bomb on a lot of these folks, man. Um, a lot of folks think, you know, that the PBC will probably go under. You know, that's a prediction. But, um, you know, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, the PBC is supposed to come back strong in 2017. That's what I heard, okay? I'm not saying, you know, I know, you know, Coach Simpson is definitely a, a well-respected person in the sport of boxing. So. When he tells me information, you know what? I tend to listen to him. He's been in the game for, what, almost 30 years, okay? He know exactly what he's doing and what he's talking about. I mean, Coach Simpson done trained the likes of uh, Terrence Crawford. He done trained him. He, uh, he even had, uh, he had some training with Errol Spence Jr. He trained him for a little while, not long. But, I mean, he's been around the sport in the game a long time, and he knows these fighters, and he knows a lot of these promoters. He knows Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, the list goes on and on. And him and Al Heyman are really good friends. I don't doubt whatever Coach Simpson say. If he tell me something, that's the truth. That's just how it is. If he tell me anything about the game, then it, it's probably true. Okay? So now with that all being said, I think Al Heyman is going to be very impactful. I think Al Heyman is going to definitely step on a lot of toes. He's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. These promoters are going to keep trying to sue him and sue him and sue him. But Al Heyman is a guy that he always stands on top. He always gets what he, 
This dude got attorneys. Al Heyman not worried about being sued. He not worried about that. This man have attorneys. Half the time he being sued, he don't even have to show up in person, man. Because this man know exactly what's going to happen. He know exactly what it is. You know, how many people are going to oppose what he doing. But you can't oppose it. I mean, there have been some very memorable fights on the PBC. There's been a lot of good fights. A lot of good fights that I'm saying to myself, you know what? I hope this continues. And then you can just sit back, you know, and you can just watch it. Okay, you don't have to worry about your, your, your pay-per-view, you know, whatever going out. Like on, uh, I know when I was at uh, watching Mayweather Pacquiao, man, the darn pay-per-view, you know, kind of fuzzed out a little bit. Then it came back. And you pay, paid $100 for that crap. You ain't got to worry about really the regular TV doing that. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of things that Al Heyman's going to be doing. And I'm telling you, if this is in fact the truth, and if Al Heyman does do those PBC belts, I can tell you now, man, there are going to be some fighters defecting, trying to get over there, man. Because you're going to have every good fighter in his stable, and he's going to hold the cards. Al Heyman really holding the cards right now. Heyman is holding these cards. And if these guys, if these promoters don't you know, want to do business with him, if they opt not to, then they're not going to thrive. They're just not going to thrive. Even, you know, him and, you know, Al Heyman and Jay-Z, they had beef back in the day. But I think when it comes to green, I think these two have put their beef aside and worked together. You even hear Bob Arum talking about, you know, he'll be willing to work with Al Heyman. Yeah, he will now. Because what is he going to do? See, Al Heyman did it very, very intelligently. When you have somebody that intelligent, man, that's, that's really, you know, making stuff happen, I, you know, what, what can you say? I'm sorry. I like Heyman. A lot of his fights on PBC, they've been very entertaining. And I, I can't, we can't, that, that's a fact. Thurman Porter, man, could grief, man. That was a fight of the year right there for me. That was fight of the year. I mean, that was good. Thurman versus Porter, hands down, was probably my favorite fight of the year. Because that fight was action-packed between two welterweights in a prime. Between two welterweights in a prime. And that's because of the PBC model. Okay, I've seen more really in intriguing matchups under the PBC model than I have just, you know, watching pay-per-view. I always thought pay-per-view sucked most of the time. I did. That's just how that is. That's just the way that is. Okay? So now, you know, when it looms around and now he may come, I mean, pretty much he gonna tell you. I don't know people say, well, yeah, the PBC is falling off. It's falling off and yeah, it won't be around and this and that. But listen, I'm just telling y'all, Al Heyman is a boss, okay? This man's a boss. This man, he gives orders. He don't take them. He give orders, okay? And the one opportunity that I did have a chance to actually see and actually speak to Al Heyman, it was short-lived, man, because the man busy. But I tell you what, this man's on a mission. And he is going to take over the sport. And everybody else, they're going to have to fall in line because if they don't fall in line, well... Al Heyman gonna move on without him or with him. He's still taking the game over. And he's, he's slowly calculating his position, man, to do what he gotta do. So my choice, who's gonna have the biggest impact in boxing, is none other than Al Heyman, okay? Al Heyman. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you so much. Thank you for these great fights. Thank you, you know, for putting Peter Quillen in the ring with Danny Jacobs. Thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you for giving us Showtime Sean Porter versus Keith Thurman. Thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you for being integral and in giving us uh, Mayweather Madonna. Thank you, Al Heyman. That wasn't on PBC, but thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman, for putting Robert Guerrero in there with Danny Garcia. Thank you, Al Heyman. Whew. So many more fights. So many more fights. <laughs> Santa Cruz. Thank you, Al Heyman. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, Santa Cruz and Frampton, thank you, Al Heyman. <laughs> Folks, the list goes on and on and on. Al Heyman is an OG, Al Heyman is a boss, and that's just the way that is. I'm done. <laughs>